Hi guys, we're going to be um, telling you about a new book that we've been reading this week. Um, Archie, do you want to tell everyone what it's called? The Fabulous Lost and Found. So, did you like the book? Yeah. What did you like about the book? Uh, reading it. You liked reading it. Did you like the fact that you had loads of Welsh words to read and learn? Yeah. Yeah? What about the pictures? What did you think of the pictures? I like them. Okay, so the idea behind the book is to teach children new languages. So for this book, obviously, it's Welsh. So half of the book is in English and half of the book is in Welsh, which then prompts children to read um, new Welsh words, new Welsh phrases, and learn a bit of Welsh along the way too. So we'll give you a little read of the book as well. In the, in the middle of the big city is a tiny yellow building. If anyone loses anything, this is where it ends up. It's called The Lost and Found. So if you want to have a little look, this is the kind of illustration we're talking about. So lovely. There's um, some really nice pictures in them. They use loads of nice colours as well. Mr and Mrs Frog keep everything safe, hoping that someday every lost watch, bag and phone and toy and shoe and cheese grater will find its owner again. But the shop is very small and there are so many lost things. It is all quite a squeeze, but it's still, it's fabulous. One sunny day, a little mouse walked in. Welcome, said Mrs Frog. What have you lost? Archie, do you want to have a go? What do you eat when you copy the hat? Said the mouse. Mr and Mrs Frog could not speak Welsh. They had no idea what the mouse was saying. What shall we do, they wondered. Maybe she's lost an umbrella. Everyone loses an umbrella at least twice, thought Mr. Frog. Frog, Have you lost this? asked Mr. Frog. Umbarrel? Umbarrel. Na, replied the mouse. Then Mrs. Frog remembered something that had been handed in a few months ago. Is this yours? Mrs. Frog asked, holding up a chunk of cheese. Cows? Cows? Na. My drow, my drowy, my drowy, my drowy, is that you say it? My dra mind drowy, said yeah. the mouse, yeah? Time to put that cheese in the bin, dear, said Mrs Frog. Maybe the word het means coat, said Mr Frog. Is this yours, Mrs Frog asked, holding up a chunk of cheese? Cows, na, mine, drowy said the mouse. Time to put that cheese in the bin, dear, said Mr Frog. Maybe the word het means coat, said Mr Frog. Now, where did I put that nice yellow one? Got it, said Mr Frog. Cot na. Would you be ready costly the het? said the mouse. She was starting to be, feel a bit frustrated. We need to keep trying, said Mrs Frog. Dim and scalf, dim and sumpel, nid trosseri, nid eskidiai, nid spectol hai. That's the most amazing word ever. It's the word for sunglasses. But it's spectral howl. What do e wedi cockly the head? said the mouse. He was getting quite frustrated. Nid by bay No Nid die bike. Nid die bike. Dim um give through the eye. Dim Nid three seven. Nid pedal banana. Nid pum pum It was no good. A fat wet tear rolled down the mouse's cheek. How about a nice cup of tea? asked Mrs. Frog kindly. Boy. What do we in? What do we in? Carry. Carry. Tea. Tea. What do we in? Carry. 
T. Diolch. Diolch. Replied the mouse. They sat together, sipping their tea and feeling a bit sad. Suddenly, the mouse realised she could try pointing. She pointed to the head. Het, she said. I've got it, exclaimed Mrs Frog, leaping up. A wig, of course, said Mrs Frog. Dim and wig, said the mouse. Dim and goch. Dim, Dim and... and um, Dim and frown. Dim and velen. Dim and oil. What about this? asked Mrs Frog, pulling back a curtain. Het! exclaimed the mouse. Ah, so het means hat. Wonderful, Mr and Mrs Frog cheered. Roy dal. Roy vach. Roy vach. Roy din. Roy foul. Foul. One hat left, said Mrs Frog, reaching all the way to the back of the cupboard. It couldn't be this old thing, could it? Be het! Rodui wedi dod on heath my het. No. Fi het. Rodui wedi dod o het. Diolch yn fawr iawn, said the mouse. And just like that, the mouse found her hat. Ho fawr, she said as she skipped away. Ho fawr, replied Mr and Mrs Frog. I wonder who will come tomorrow, said Mr Frog. Mrs Frog put her arm around him. I don't know, she replied, giving him a squeeze. But whoever it is, we'll do our best to help.